You know, I want to speak about something very interesting before I end. Sometimes, we struggle and we suffer with doubts. With doubts. And Allah tells us, do not doubt. Allah tells us, do not doubt. We struggle and we suffer with doubt. For whatever weakness there may be within us, sometimes doubt. Let me give you an example of a person who is perhaps doing uh, uh, wudu. Wudu is the washing before you pray. Or even in the prayer. Let's talk, instead of wudu, let's talk about the prayer, okay? So I started Allahu Akbar and I'm, and I'm praying. And I know I'm supposed to make four units for dhuhr. Right or wrong? Four units, okay? The farad. I make one. And I'm trying to get up and I think, hey, how many did I do? Did I do two or one? Okay. Does it happen? Look, everyone said yes. Anyone saying no here? Okay. So sometimes you do three and then you think to yourself, did I do two or three? Did I do, right? I, I can't remember, two or three, you know? What did I do? And sometimes you finish your salah, the four are done, but you're still thinking, am I on the third one or am I on the fourth one? Right? It happens to all of us, including myself including the imams in the big, big masjids on earth. It happens to them also. So people say, oh, you know what? I don't know. What to, can I tell you something? Throw your doubt. The hadith speaks about it. So that means it happened to the sahaba as well. Oh, here goes. The hadith says, إِذَا صَلَّى أَحَدُكُمْ فَلَمْ يَدْرِي أَوَاحِدَةً صَلَّى أَمِثْنَتَيْنِ It's saying when any one of you prays and you don't remember whether you made one or two, then this is what you should do. Oh, that means it happened already to people before me who were better than me. Don't become depressed and despondent. What do you do? Initially, the teaching is you build on the smaller number. And you do sujudu saho. You build on that which you are certain it was. But when it becomes a disease and it's happening to you in every prayer, then you deal with it differently. You don't entertain the doubt. You complete your salah. And you leave it unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 